Welcome everybody to my retro playthrough of Monsters on uh, the BBC. I'm just going to go ahead and get this started up here. Uh, this was a game written for the BBC Model B, which was a computer that I grew up using. Uh, I just want to make sure that my keys are mapped correctly here. We're going to go with user defined mapping. Define the user mapping and say that is up, down, left, right, dig, and fill. Okay, that should set us up for a game. Uh, so yeah, the BBC was a computer that I grew up uh, playing. I think my dad brought it home when I was about four or five years old. And Monsters was one of the first ones that I remember us playing together uh, after, of course, David Braben's Elite. So the concept of Monsters, we'll just jump into the game here, is to climb along these little ladders and avoid the monsters that are walking around the area. Now what you can do to help yourself with that is dig holes that become traps for them. So you move far enough away from a ladder and you can dig a hole like this that a monster will fall in and then you can fill the hole to kill the monster. Now of course you have to make sure that they fall in the hole prior to uh... You have to make sure they fall in the hole after you finish digging it. If it's only partially dug then they'll only fall in a little bit of the way and they can actually climb out and come get you which uh, really sucks. Uh, and uh, they can climb out and they can get bigger and more powerful. There are more powerful versions of every monster. And what you don't want to do is end up breeding the more powerful versions. Oh, getting eaten like that. I should have dug a hole on the other side of me. Uh, so we'll try this level again. There is a bit of RNG that goes on. The monsters don't always cooperate with what you're looking for. Um, uh, but as you can see here, one of the tactics that I like to use is to just dig holes on either side of me. And then... Oh, that guy's not going to get in the whole way. Oh no, this is bad. Now he's going to escape that hole because I can't fill him in fast enough. And that's where he's going to become one of these green meanies that... Oh, he ate me across the hole. Uh, but they're a little bit harder to kill. I think you have to dig and push them through twice, if I remember rightly, in order to get them killed. That was a nice freebie there. What I'm going to do is try and dig two holes for myself here. Don't know if I left enough room. Don't think I did. Okay, well. Filling is always the priority. Uh, I can always run away from a monster that's... Ah, come no. And he got me from behind. So I think that was my last life. That's my first game over. Uh, but we got a high score, so I'll enter a name as Stu with 2240, and let's play again and see if I can get to a little bit of a higher level. So these were such simple games back in the day. Uh, you know, you, you didn't have to wade through hours and hours of story or search for hidden items or anything like that. They were just little distractions. Uh, they probably took just as long to code as some of the megaliths of today. I'm going to fill that one in on that side of me, fill this in here, kill that monster. And then see if we can get this guy who's going along the top. Where are you going to come out? Let's dig, dig, dig. And it feels like towards the end of the level, uh, if you've left the monster around alone for a while, they start sort of homing in on you and uh, shutting you down. But you can use that to your advantage to make sure that they essentially come and kill themselves towards the end of the, the particular level you're on. Come on, you. In you come. Oh, I think I'm going to get this one. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem now. We just need to wait for him to come in. Of course, you notice that oxygen meter along the bottom. Uh, that is sort of a timer to prevent you from just taking far too long in the level. So you have to beat it before the oxygen runs out. I'm just going to run away. That guy was making a beeline for me. Oh, I think I could have uh, filled him down in on his buddy over there. And I think that would have been a double kill. Uh, but it's been years since I played this. So I don't remember exactly.
being careful to turn around slowly so I don't end up getting eaten across the gap. And I think we've got it. Unless this guy just runs away completely, which he didn't. There we go. So we've already eclipsed our previous high score by quite an amount. But I don't imagine I'll survive too many more levels, as it does start to get quite challenging at this point. Now you see we've started with one of those green meanies. Oh, almost. Yeah, I think I have to knock that green meanie. Uh, maybe it's through two holes, so he falls through two floors consecutively. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh, uh, that's gonna not go well if one of those guys gets stuck in that hole. That'll work. Now, I want him, of course, to come down into this hole. Doesn't look like he's going to. But that at least will give me a little bit of a break for a second. What I'd like to do is get this other red guy soon. So that I don't have to worry about him. And oxygen is going to start being a problem for me here. There's the red guy, good. Let's see if we can get the green one, no. We really want him to come up a level. Let's go up to this level and dig here. Hopefully I can do this in time. Nope! Oh, it's gonna suck! Now he's a white one. Now I think he has to go through three holes in order to die. And I'm about to run out of oxygen. And he's just a little bit faster than me, I think, so he was creeping up on me on the ladder here. Okay, let's try that again, see if we can kill a green meanie. Uh, it'd be fun to know if it is the two-hole deal that you have to do to kill him. Gonna try and get a safe location to get him from. Run away. Oh, see if I can get this red one. See if we're lucky a bit with the RNG. Yes, we are. That's very good. Okay, great. Now I'm going to try and dig a double hole. Didn't make it in time. But this might work. Yeah! So I think that's how we get a green meanie. And I think the white ones have to go through three holes, as I said. I can't remember if that's true. Maybe they're just a little faster. Uh, but let's see how we do on this level. So yeah, these were released by a company called uh, Acorn Soft. Uh, back in 1982. Oh, got eaten. Um, I think this is my last life. Uh, the BBC, at least growing up in England, was the computer that we had in schools that we used. And I wonder how many teachers back in the day had to shut down the game of monsters to avoid their classroom becoming... Ah, got eaten. Well, it was a good run. Uh, so that's monsters. Uh, there you go. Uh, set a high score of 8,150. Oh, let's have one more go before we quit. Uh, see if we can get past that one level that, that got us stuck there. 
You can, of course, bump up your score by dropping people through bigger holes than you need to. So we'll run up here, see if we can knock this guy through. I think I get a lot more points for doing him that way. Well, at least double. There we go. So we'll drop down. Yeah, no, not that. Fill. Dig again. Uh, if this guy falls in, I'll just let him take it. That sounds good. Hopefully, yes, there he goes. Okay, first level down. And so I think you get the score of the monsters you've killed, plus the amount of oxygen that you had left over when you're done, so there's definitely a timing element to it. Uh, taking too long will reduce your score. So there we go. So see how him falling through two layers, though, kills both holes. It fills them both in. At some point you do get an extra life, I don't remember uh, when it is, I'm going to say maybe around 10,000 points. Uh, but there were ways to get extra lives in a lot of these games. They were born of that much more difficult arcade era. Where things had to be challenging because the only real reward the game had to offer was a high score. Come on you, fall in the hole. There you go. Now this is dangerous because I'm going to get surrounded. But I'll... Jump down. Nope. <laughs> Couldn't get away. Uh, and it would have been bad because that one red guy was getting stuck in the hole anyway. Now, this is an interesting little ladder spawn that I've got there. Uh, if he comes down, I'm pretty well hosed. Really shouldn't have done that to myself, but fortunately got away with it. I was quite lucky. and set one up here. With any luck, one of these two guys will fall in. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, he's going to keep coming for me. Oh, get down there, get down there in time. Oh dear, now I've created a green one. The green guys tend to be much more persistent about coming for you. I'm going to just swap my side there. Ah, and he ate me. I think I was going to run out of oxygen on that attempt anyway. So let's run around. If you want to play any of these games, you can download the SSD images. Stands for Single Sided Disk Image uh, from StairwayToHell.com. Uh, just look for the BBC Micro Software link in the top left. Uh, and I'll put that link in the uh, comments below, in the description below. And then you'll need an emulator called BeebM. B-E-E-B-E-M. Uh, I'm going to do a video at some point with instructions on how to run BeebM and set it up. Although it's pretty simple, you just say run disk and locate an SSD. And then that single sided disk will contain the game. And usually run disk will do all of the things necessary. You used to have to put a disk in and then either run commands or chain commands or hit uh, something shift break rebooted the machine and sometimes the disk would auto load. But run disk does most of that for you. And in almost all of the SSDs that I've tried, uh, run disk and selecting the SSD just boots it up no problem. If there are any specific games you're having trouble with, um, you know, let me know in the comments. I'll see if I can download the SSD and have a look at what's going on. Uh, I obviously didn't play all of them, uh, but I played a fair percentage as a kid. I was fairly lucky with how many my dad would actually bring home or get for us. Ah, that was poor play. Uh, let's run away for a while. See if we can't get a trap going for this green guy. I like the look of a trap up here. I don't know if I'll make it in time. Oh, not quite. That's not good at all. Oh, but we're going to get him! Woo! 
And if we can get this last red one, there we go. Yay, we killed a white guy, that's fantastic. Uh, I don't remember if there are any more monster types than that, but since this is going to be our last game, what I'll try to do is let one of these monsters escape from the holes a few times, and we'll see how big we can get them. Uh, so I'm just going to kill some of the little red guys here, if we can get some of them to come in. And then I'll get one stuck, hopefully the green meanie, so that he turns to a white really quick. And then we'll see what the most difficult monster is that we can create. So we're going to let him come out. And then basically this is just suicidal to do. But we're just going to dig holes all over the place and keep letting him escape. Ah, I think that's as bad as he gets. Okay. So white is as bad as it gets. See if we can set up a trap for him here. Don't know if I'll make it in time. Ah, I didn't quite make it in time. No. Uh, better to let him come out at that point because he'll only fill in one layer instead of both if I sent him through both holes. Uh, so at this point, just best to let him keep coming out. And then here, I'm hoping he's going to fall in. Oh, he got me on the way down. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get our score up to. Uh, and then I'm going to call this segment. And uh, this was Monsters. That almost ended it fast. There we go. So yeah, for those who haven't seen any, this is my first video of uh, some of the old BBC micro games that I grew up playing. Uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get through some of the more complicated ones, such as Citadel and Raven Skull, maybe even Pas uh, Palace of Magic. Sorry, I had to focus there for a second. And don't want to have two green minis, so hopefully we can get this guy filled in. Very good. Uh, we'll just fill you in and redig. With any luck, the green mini will come up top. And I think I get a double kill on them both here. Yeah, fantastic. So we've beaten 10,000, uh, so I guess I don't get an extra life there. I'm just going to keep going to see how uh, how long we can go, what score we can get. Oh, and, and there we go, 10,950. So yeah, this is Monsters. I'll leave the link to Stairway to Hell in the description below, uh, and a link to BBAM as well. If you want to try any of these old games, they're still quite a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and I'm Stu.